Welcome back to Sawyer's Farm. I'm Jacob and today we're going to be taking you around the farm. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, moving our chickens today. Uh, our little chicks, if you haven't seen those, uh, we're going to be moving them in a little bit bigger pen. And right now we just got done mixing some of our adult chicken feed. We mix our own chicken feed here on our farm and uh, we have done a video on it on what we use and everything. We'll put it up here in an iCard. If you're interested in uh, mixing your own chicken feed we've been doing this for a while it works they lay on it very well and we really like using the whole grain it's a whole grain method so go check out that video it's a lot cheaper too uh, we did the math and everything on that and we are also got some some bad news our potatoes aren't doing good and we kind of need y'all's help we'll we'll show you this later but we don't know exactly what happened but maybe any of y'all out there that really know potatoes, um, just stay tuned and maybe y'all can help us out and see exactly what happened. are in our what we call our teenager pen so whenever we raise chicks we bring them up and these ones are a little over five weeks old they're pretty much kind of fully feathered uh, we'll show you them in a minute but we're just showing you the pen that they're going to be going in and we always like to transition them to kind of this brooder into this type of pen it gives them just a little bit I mean a lot more uh, area to kind of roam around and they got grass in here to scratch and you know get bugs and stuff and uh, over here they are under a this carport here and we built them a little roost so whenever they get kind of bigger and they start roosting they got a little roost on here and it keeps them out of the weather and we'll have their feed and water in here and we've raised chicks just like this this is exactly what we do and it works perfectly fine and we will be clipping their wings so they don't fly over this fence and get into the field and um, but we really like kind of doing it this method, giving them a little bit more room to uh, run around. And whenever they get big enough to where we think that they're going to be fine putting them with the bigger ch uh, chickens, then we'll do that. We just got to see, you know, how fast they grow. And whenever they get to that size, we'll put them over with the uh, rest of the flock. But let's go over here and we'll show you how big they've gotten. All right, so here's the brood. I just took out their big water. Uh, we had like a five gallon water in here because they kept tipping over the smaller one um, and they're probably going to try to fly out here but I just kind of want to show you like they're getting big and this is kind of getting uh, too big for them and they're already knocking their feeders over and stuff and that's kind of why we're we're moving them out because they just they're getting pretty rowdy in here and so might as well get them rowdy out in some uh, bigger area we just kind of want to show you this real quick before we take them out and we'll show you how, you, how we uh, clip the wings to the chickens all right, y'all, so you see the feathers here. Now, let me tell you, this is not hurting them at all, okay? We have done this hundreds of times. This has not hurt them. So you see the feathers here. You don't want to come way up here, okay? There's no need to, and that, you can hurt them. But just right here where you see it just kind of, you know, it's a lot more thinner. We call the flight feathers. There you go, They're flight right. feathers. And right here, you just, just clip them. Just like that. That's all you got to do, and you do it to the other side, too. Some people only do one side. You can do both. It just all depends on what you prefer. But we do both sides. And like we said, this does not hurt them at all.
All right, so we got those uh, chicks over there. They seem like they're pretty tucked in. They're just getting used to their environment. Uh, we're not going to be putting a heat lamp in there. Uh, we believe that they're more feathered out, and the weather really is not going to be getting that cold from here on out. If there is some cold snap that's going to be like below freezing, then we'll probably come out and put it in there. And we'll check them here every night for a few nights just to make sure they're they're all good and they you know get under the uh, carport at night and stuff like that. So we'll be watching them. Uh, before we go to bed just to see how they are at night but right now we're going to be putting all their bedding that we have in this trough here we're going to stick it on this trailer and we're going to take it over to our compost bag and we'll show you that just real quick it's a pretty neat setup So this is the uh, compost bag that I was talking about. It's uh, This is our first year. We used it once and it worked pretty good. And so what we do is just put all of our bedding. We have food scraps like eggshells and tea bags and stuff like that from the house. We just come out here, stick it in there and it'll build up over time. Then it just sits and you don't really, you don't have to turn it at all. And it, it works pretty daggum good uh, for us. Um, if you're interested in that, we'll probably put a link uh, I think you can get them on Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to put this in here and then we're going to talk about our potatoes uh, for a second. We're probably going to need some of uh, y'all's advice or just to see kind of what happened. All right, y'all, so we're out here in our kind of potato patch in our in-ground garden. And as you can see here, our potatoes, they like kind of died. And I don't know, we don't know exactly what happened. So if y'all have, like we said, we've this is our second year growing potatoes. So we don't know a whole lot about them. Um, but I'll kind of just give you kind of a rundown of the scenario. And we don't know what caused it. It, it was definitely some type of weather, of course, because our potatoes in our you know our bed in that barrel if you all watch our previous videos they're also kind of the same way but we had a little bit of rain and then i think for three days we had a um some some pretty decent cold i want to say like you know in the 20s it was definitely in the kind of lower 30s um for about i think three days now the first two days they were completely fine they were just tall happy and looking good green and literally the next day, they were just like, the leaves and stuff were dead. And we didn't know really what caused it because we kind of thought, you know, uh, potatoes are kind of cold weather, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but they're just all dead. And I started doing a little bit of research and, and like I said, I don't know, but some say that like, if it kind of is like the way it is, they're not completely dead. It's just the leaves are kind of dead and they'll kind of stunt it and it kind of grows back. Cause we still have some there's still a little bit of green right here that were you know some leaves and i see a lot of some of the stalks are still kind of you know pretty decently green so i don't know if, if it's a complete loss or what just because we don't know a whole lot about potatoes so i mean that's kind of the rundown i don't know exactly what caused it if it was a mixture of maybe a little bit of wet and just you know cold I'm not exactly sure. If y'all are really experienced with potatoes, leave them down in the comments because we just kind of want to prevent this from later or if we know exactly why it happened so then we can prevent it. But we're hoping that it, it's it's still good. I'm still watering them. We're still trying to take care of them and see if they kind of, I guess, come back. I don't know if they will or not. But please leave down in the comments uh, anything that we could do or if these are completely just done and we're wasting our time. 
but it's just it's really sad to see you know kind of this happening it was really cool seeing them come up and everything and and then them just pretty much almost dying overnight it's pretty uh it's it's a sad thing we really we ain't happy about it but you know that's thing of farming and gardening and homesteading you know not everything's perfect and things happen and you know plants die sometimes and it is what it is but guys we hope you like this video uh moving our chickens over and everything we know they're going to be really happy uh, if you got any questions or if you got any knowledge about this potato situation please leave it down in the comments we really do appreciate it and just hearing everything that y'all have to say hit that like button um if you're not subscribed to our channel please subscribe because we really like that we like to get as much people over here as possible and um hit that bell for notifications if you want to see our newest videos that come up and you can be the first ones to watch them that's what that bell's there for but guys as always take care and god bless What is that? Goat. Goat. <laughs> goat. A baby goat. He's kind of scared. Is this one that's mom right here? <laughs> goat. Come here, goat. Hey. Hey. Say, like, come here. Hey. Hey. Go pet one. Goat. <laughs>